Hello. Today, John Cullen and I are just two old guys going to the Vintage Film Channel. We, that's an accurate, a very accurate description. To, oh, going to? I, said, <laughs> I love the simplicity. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm having too much fun. Hey, I want to be two old guys as long as we can possibly do it. So, um, yeah. there we go. So, listen, I, we're going to review... Uh, uh, the films and the TVs, the old classic television and the vintage films that are on the Vintage Film Channel because I love that channel. You mm. and I uh, know Grace, who, who has created it, and we've watched her digitize all these old films and all these old TV shows, put them up, and there's so many of them now, and they're, they are just wonderful to watch again. You and I grew up with this art. Do you, right. Have you seen a lot of the stuff on there? On oh, Vintage sure. Channel? I mean, it, it be, especially for anybody, go to YouTube.com and put it like a forward slash, and I think it's Vintage Film Channel. We'll put it in the description down below. But yeah. um, if you just go there, and there are literally dozens and dozens, and she's adding new ones all the time. Yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's a great uh, resource. So today, Art and I have chosen to review for your edification... Uh, your show of shows, which I always remembered as the Sid Caesar show. Right. But actually, actually, so one of the really great things about this is that, um, and I know you and I have both done it, we went out to Google to find out how many episodes of there were, uh, what right. years, uh, who was on each one. And right. uh, there was some interesting fun facts. But the show of shows, I think, had a, a hundred some odd uh, episodes. But then he followed it with the Caesar show, yes. which I think there were far fewer, uh, but that one I believe was already in color. These were- uh, uh, I don't I don't know about that. Here's a little fun fact I found out, and that is that uh, the, the, this, this particular series mm -hmm. might have been, I couldn't get a firm uh, on it, but it might have been the first of the television variety shows because in 1949, the first year of television, mm. in 1949, it went on the air as the Admiral, the Admiral Hour or something right. like that. Was that, it, that was on a separate same show? show? Same show. Yeah, it basically the same show. And they changed the name in 1950 to your show of shows ah. because, get this, the show was so popular Admiral, who made television sets and radios and things, sure. Admiral could not keep up with delivering enough TV sets based on the advertising from their Admiral show. Whoa. So they, they canceled their sponsorship, and NBC changed the title of it to Your Show of Shows. Well, you know, it's really kind of interesting because uh, it really literally was the first, uh, or if not the first, certainly the most successful early uh, variety show right. on television. Right. And quite frankly, uh, and I actually know that you know more about this than I do, but quite frankly, the way it lives today is in Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Uh, except they did it almost every week as SNL purports to do, but they, they have a lot more time off than it seems that uh, uh, the uh, show of shows did. But also it's a 90 minute, yeah, live presentation yeah. of skits and songs, and uh, although the hosting is a little bit different, because I think on the show of shows the guest host actually introduced every almost every segment uh, directly. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Here's here's what I noticed compared to today, mm. um, and it's very similar. The guest host is somebody famous, obviously, right. I call it marquee value, somebody whose name you'd recognize, or at least you would back then. The show we reviewed, you and I watched, uh, was hosted by M Margaret Truman, who was the daughter of the president at the right. time. And she was a very big celebrity uh, in on television, did a lot of game shows and things like that. Yeah, but, she was terrific. Yeah, she was, and very talented, and she appeared in the skit, in, in at least one mm -hmm. skit. She'd introduce some things, she'd appear in another thing. She did a very good job, and and just like the the variety shows of today, the skits were wonderful. They're funny. Um, the the big difference is 
that, let's say, Saturday Night Live or one of those shows, they don't do the big production numbers the way they did on uh, your show of shows. And for that matter, and Jackie Gleason and Jack Benny and the others. I remember Jackie Gleason had the June Taylor dancers. Hmm. Remember that? I remember the Red Skelton show. That was a, yeah, that was yeah. a big deal. They, this was hmm. like cast a thousand. You know who actually did a lot of really big numbers? The Sonny and Cher show, which was yes, definitely a variety. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, talk about fun facts. So um, I sort of knew this, but I went back to check it out. Sid Caesar and Imogen Coco were a comedy team. They were not married. Sid right. Caesar had a very long uh, and successful marriage. Yeah. And Imogen Coco, I think, was married as well. But they were definitely, they weren't like Burns and Allen. Uh, yeah. Or Ozzy and Harriet, or things like or that. Ozzie and Har or, yeah. yeah. Or Bob, uh, what's his name? Uh, George Burns and uh, Chris Margaret Allen. Livingston. Yeah. Oh, well, that's right. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, George, not George Burns, Jack Benny and Margaret. Jack Benny. Um, so, interestingly enough, um, when, when, they, um, when they put this show on the air, I believe that Max Liebman, who was the executive producer and, and directed mm. the shows too, I think. I believe he put uh, the two of them together as a comedy team. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that was the case. Max Liebman had been a very successful Broadway producer, and he was very well known for doing reviews, which is basically what this show is. Right. All these variety shows are comedy reviews and dancing reviews and and you know what they all harken back to vaudeville yeah uh you'd, you'd go to the vaudeville theater and you'd see a comedian act and you'd see a juggler and then you'd see a, a dancing act that's that's where they all come from then they all went into radio so all of these people bob hope jack benny george burns they were all in radio and max liebman just said i got a i got a couple of very funny people Sold it to NBC, and I think your the Admiral Hour was the first of the kind. When they changed it to your show of shows, that was the same time when Jack Benny went on the air, Bob Hope went on the air, George Burns went on the air. And you're right, I think um, your show of shows didn't last more than four or five years because, get this, they thought they had such a great team there, they broke it up. Really? They broke up, and they gave Sid Caesar his own show, and they gave Imogen Coca her own show. And you know what happened to both shows? They went down. Great team. They broke it up, and and they lost. So they so for for our viewers out there, I would if you're interested in seeing some, and it's such a wide variety of of. Uh, with, I, I Grace found I don't know where she found all these things, but what she did was she made them a high quality uh, digital right. video so right. that even though it's not as good as you know you would get from a dvd or recording from tv today she has restored them to a point where they're extremely watchable okay it, it's as good as it's going to be yeah right because you know, uh, she's very talented still and she, she has still dozens great, you know yes but she has and, dozens and, of like, these this was before videotape they, they were live these right. these uh, these shows have been preserved by Kinescope, which is a film process, filming the camera, the video right. camera, and it's it was never a good a, a good yeah. high quality process to begin with. But anyway, do yourself a favor, go to uh, the YouTube uh, uh, Vintage Film Channel uh, uh, segment, and you can find it very easily, uh, yep. and uh, and you'll find some stuff in there that will probably bring back some really good memories. Uh, there are TV shows like My Little Margie. Uh, I don't know what the show. Well, we'll, hold on, Art. Okay. We're going to review some of those right. in another video. But there may be some people who can't wait for the two old guys to be able to find their keyboards. And they might find something in there that they like that we didn't like. So well, let me. For, I can't go. I can't let you go without talking about the skits that Sid Caesar and Emma Jean Coca did. With their cohorts, Carl Reiner, Howard Morris, other famous names right. in comedy, um, and the writers. The writers, they were, uh, am I correct? Um, Mel Brooks was a writer as well as Yeah, Carl along the way, uh, even as I think it, he wasn't until a little later, Woody Allen 
Yeah. Uh, Neil Simon. Uh, right. Just right. So, I mean, these these shows are brilliant in their own right. I, I mean, when you look back at them, when I watched the show we're talking about, the one with Margaret Truman as the host, right. the first, uh, she introduces a, a quartet, a singing quartet, the Williams Brothers. Very talented people. But I, I, as a producer and director, looked at the production value. And I got to tell you, for, for live action, the choreography, the lighting changes, this was pretty good stuff. It's, it's simple by today's standards. But I got to tell you, they were. this was the top of the art at the time. Um, really, really great production. And the skits, there, there, are, there are funnier skits today because our sensibilities are are different. You know, we right. joke about different things today. But these are classics. They the, the first skit they did, I think, was uh going going to dinner or something like that. And they're in the car, you know, make believe car. Right. Uh, trying to find a parking space. Very funny stuff. They get to dinner and the the restaurant's so crowded they're seated. Oh, you don't mind sitting with another couple, do you? Sit so they're having dinner with strangers. And I'm telling you, it is a very, very funny skit. It's it's very different. It's from 50 years ago, but um, it's terrific stuff. And the dancing, the dancing and the singing, really, really talented. Yeah, it's, it's first rate. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll we'll uh, when we get off the air, we got to go pick our next. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, well, you mentioned show. my little party. That would be a good one. Yeah. So we'll see what's going on there. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So. Go to go to Vintage Film Channel. Or go to youtube.com slash vintage film channel. And search through all the titles that Grace has out there and see if you can find your show of shows. It, it and and you'll love it. You'll love it. Okay, so until uh next week, uh wait, uh, I'm going to uh, uh pl plagiarize somebody. Uh we'll be back to you from the balcony. Who was that, uh, Siskel and Ebert? Well, you can you can compare us to Siskel and Ebert. That would be generous. I think of us as the two old Muppets. <laughs> yeah, wait, you're giving us a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, see you in the movies. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.